Most days I'm up before the sun rises. Getting into the gym before six. Being out on the water is a very like freeing feeling, like leaving the crutches behind and, and getting out there. The journey's been pretty full on, but now everything I do is to try and get better at paddling. I'm trying to better myself each day. I'm Scott Martlu, I live in Christchurch and I'm a paracanoist. When I was uh, 17 I was playing first 15 rugby for Shirley Boys High School. Midway through the first half I got a knock to the leg. I was in hospital for three or four days before the doctors decided to operate to, to see what was actually going on. There was a flesh-eating bacteria that had been ravaging my leg and my life was on the line. They had to make the decision to, to amputate my leg to try and save my life. Very lucky to be here today. I'd never had anyone close to me really have something major like that happen, so it was, it was quite hard to take at the time. You know, all we could do was, was be there for Scott and try and support him. I took him down a canoe paddle and, and left a note with him and said, we can't wait to have you back on the water and have you back on the canoe with the boys, so whenever you're better, here's the paddle. We can't wait to have you back. I knew it was going to be a, a long road to recovery and um, that was a huge, huge lift for me and um, yeah, no, he's a, a great mate. There's nothing that was going to bring my leg back or anything so I just started to think about what I can do from here and um, look to the future. In the months after Scott's accident we really saw just how mentally strong and how determined he was to succeed. Any other man would have given up, would, would have just said it's too hard. That's what makes him good on the water. He's a tough man. He, he was tough at a young age. I've been with uh, my coach Lee for a long time now. We see each other like every day, share what, what I'm going through, how I'm feeling. It has taken a long time for him to understand his body, but also to understand the mental aspects and accept that, yeah, you are going to be nervous, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to put it all on the line. Got the Tokyo Paralympics coming up. That's been the, the pinnacle event that we've been working towards. Plan to take out the top spot. He's trying to put all of his training aspects together to produce that, that perfect performance. He hasn't done it yet. We're both hoping that it'll, that'll happen in the final in Tokyo. I'm just really excited to, to get out there and smash it.